The 5.7 by 28, recently adopted by NATO as a standard NATO round, possibly seen it among NATO death squad, and of course, a favorite of cartels. Yeah, the only uh, issue is the ATF couldn't smuggle enough ammunition to match those weapons, so they no longer use it. Yep, Charles is back. He actually threw a clot to his brain, so we're very happy that he was able to get through that and is everything. Is it still there? Oh, nope. yeah, yeah, yeah. said yeah. I'd poop it out. Nope, nope, the clot is still there. We think he's okay for the most part. I just left. In any case, the 5.7 is a round that you can absolutely see. It's been around for close to 23 years at this point, and in fact, there's a lot of myths surrounding the 5.7. Michael, what have you heard about the 5.7? Uh, what can like it do? Like extremely armor piercing. Just uh, deadly. Just, yeah, just super crazy. Incredibly deadly. Yeah, it really goes 4,300 feet per second. That's not true. Don't don't quote Charles. Is that a hammer? Yeah, it's the only thing I could find out here. It's fucking real anti up, dude. I had like seven Red Bulls. Now, when I think of the 5.7, I, the first time I ever saw a 5.7 was Counter-Strike. Remember like this angle, Micah? Just... <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, iconic. <laughs> That's iconic as hell. But I'm really excited to do a video on the ballistics of the 5.7. We're gonna prove on Grantham once and for all, using Bullets science, are deadly. how deadly is a 5.7? Before we get started, we of course have to thank the biggest sponsor of the channel, which is who, Charles? Snoring Desert Institute. You know what, that blood clot actually works. It's so working. we have the Sonoran Desert Institute. A big thank you to them if you're looking to get your start in gunsmithing. They are the people to go to. We absolutely love them. And of course, we cannot forget who, Micah? Primary Arms. Send a uh, bunch of emails to their customer service don't, don't and do you'll that. get a discount code. That's not what will happen. Great optics, great price. We absolutely love them. Go and check them out. And you know what, Charles, you did so good. Who can we not forget as well? Manjiz. Man that <laughs> Mantis, if you're looking to turn your gun into a dry fire machine, Mantis is the way to go. We do a ton of dry fire, don't we, Charles? Yeah. That's how you get better. Go and check them out. And, uh, of course, AAC Ammo. They are the last to fire a lot of 5.7, and they sponsor the ammo. But yep. with all that being said, ammo is cheap because of AAC, but ballistic dummies are... Are right over there. Now, the question is, where did 5.7 come from? Well, you see, NATO really wanted to get rid of the 9mm LOL. So a couple different companies put forth solutions. We of course had Heckler and Coke and we had FN with the 5.7 by 28. So this is the 5.7 by 28. It looks like a baby little 5.56, doesn't it, Micah? Yeah. So right here we have a 5.56 round. We'll go ahead and put those side by side. You can see they look very similar in many ways. Um, a good comparison would be like uh, six foot versus like 5'10". So like right here you have like a real man capable of doing everything. And then here you have like a manlet not very capable, just kind of useless. Like regular dude, and then ethical non-monogamous David Hogg. <laughs> Wait, is David Hogg ethically non-monogamous? Yeah, he lets, uh, <laughs> I think, SoundCloud rappers. So the 5.7 is a very light cartridge going very fast. So you have about a, anywhere from a 28 grain all the way to a 40 grain projectile. Did you like, say 28 grain? 28 that grain. That is nothing. It is tiny. Compared to nine millimeter, anywhere from 115 to 124, or you know, even heavier, like 147, the 5.7 is very light, but it's going very, very fast. Now it's been noted that the 5.7 is a low recoiling gun, about half of the nine millimeter. And they did that because generally the NATO, due to the fact that estrogen levels are rising, testosterone is getting lower, you know, it's a little bit hard on the wrist to fire a nine millimeter. We're gonna see the difference between the recoil on the 5.7 and the nine millimeter. We have 124 grain uh, military ammo versus the uh, spear gold dot out of the 5.7, which is full power. So we'll do four rounds on the target and we'll go ahead and start. This is a Steyr L9A1. Walked it up. The 145. Okay. 145. Go to 5.7. 152. Except for being retarded and walking the rounds out, the 5.7 did found, feel more controllable to me. You, know, you look a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. Oh, four. Nice. Okay, you ready? 5.7. Shooter, are you ready? Yep. Stand by. That wasn't bad. How that feel compared to nine? Uh, it's actually less recoil than the nine. It was. It's awkward because you look at this this grip. How wide it is? It's weird to grip. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, it's like gripping the uh, ranch hand. <laughs> um, I don't know about half the recoil of nine mil. I will say 
it certainly recoils less. Charles, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, it recoiled less for sure. Just a little bit more awkward to grip, so maybe your perceived recoil felt might make you think that it's more, but it's, it's not. Here, try it out, Micah. <laughs> no, dude, that almost, that is significantly less. It's not half, but it's definitely less. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be testing 5.7 in ballistics gel blocks. We'll be using three different types of ammo. We'll be using Spear Gold Dot, which I think is probably what we'll end up using. AAC with their uh, VMAX round, which I think will be super violent, and then just a normal American Eagle round. We'll also fire one round of the PS90, which has a 16-inch barrel to show you the difference in velocity between the two. Because a lot of the talks about velocity, they focus on a 16-inch barrel. With a 16-inch barrel, round screaming, not so much out of a pistol. After we found the most effective round, we'll be coming over to the ballistic dummy. They will be testing in various areas of the dummy, which does a pretty good job of approximating what a human would do if you were hit with a round. We have bones, we have organs, uh, we have brain and skull and, and everything. Can I can I explain the body? Can we do that and I explain the body? Yeah, okay, okay. go ahead, ready? It's an exact one-to-one. -one. We have large intestines, which important, important part of the body carries uh, tricks and other vital cereals. What's, what's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Just let me explain. Sorry, my bad. That. Okay, we're gonna do a quick chrono to show you the difference between a 5.7 pistol and the PS90. 1716. That's about on par for the FN57 with a defensive round. All right, come over here at the PS90. It's armed. Uh, aim at the hero. I'll have my move. 2148. Whoa. Neato. Space gun. That's like 400 FPS faster. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, first up, we have American Eagle 40 grain out of the FN57 gel block. Ready? Oh. Whoa. You see that little explosion? Flash the light. Oh, yay. Did it do what it did? No, no, it did like the little, it did the uh, combustive like compression effect. That's my favorite. I know. I want to see it on, on high speed. Next up, we have the uh, VMAX from AAC. Um, the VMAX is a projectile. This is made by AAC. And uh, I think this will be fairly violent. VMAX, 40 grain. Oh, oh look. Yeah, a little projectile right there. There's the tip. It's fine. There's it broke apart. Very violent. Well, look at that, dude. A little uh, the little red rocket. Yeah, yeah a little red <laughs> rocket, dude. Right. We have spear, gold dot, forty grain. Ready? Oh my. Oh yeah, much better wooden channel. You can see the slug right there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You can see petals that shredded off. That's actually more indicative of something you would typically see from a rifle round where the projectiles begin to break up a little bit. So that's exciting. I like that. Very cool. Let's go see what it looks like at high speed. You see, you say sharded off? What? Did he say it sharded off? No. Sheared. Oh, sheared. Based off what we're seeing, Spear Gold Dot is the best round that we've seen performance-wise. So we're going to be using that on the Blisk Dummy. Now we're going to test the Spear Gold Dot really quickly out of the PS90 to see the difference in terminal performance. Um, we saw a really good terminal performance out of the 5.7. I'm interested. What do you think? Hey, it's be ripping. I bet it'll go out the back. I bet it'll crush. Blow out the back. Blow out the back. I knew that was going to happen. Is it low? Yeah. Oh, that's good job. Here we go. You know, it It looks good, but the slug didn't really go that much further in than the uh, pistol. It's borderline not even deadly. <sighs> so Look difficult at that. to talk to you. No, it's... With all that extra muscle, dude, check it out. It would barely make it through him. Yeah, I'm pretty big right now, dude. Yeah, he's pretty 50 big. pounds of lean muscle thanks to raw milk. Raw milk. <laughs> so obviously the PS90 with its longer barrel, more energetic. That being said, um, the pistol seems to perform pretty well. I'm interested to see how it does in the body. The only... Um, thing I can relate as far as real world capability of the PS90 was from an unnamed um, department in the US when um, there was a gunman and they started shooting him with the PS9, uh, P90, which was full auto of course, and as they were shooting him, it's a 50 round magazine so it takes quite a while to shoot the entire magazine. As he was being shot, he said, please stop shooting me with that thing. I'll say this, I definitely wouldn't want to get shot by the 5.7. It seems to be fairly effective from what I've seen. Charles? Yeah, it seems to do exactly what all the other bullets we've tested done, which is they will fuck you up. 
You're such a buzzkill sometimes on these videos, dude. Sphere Gold Dot, um dummy, upper right chest. Look at the flowering that you see there. That's actually definitely punching above its weight. Um, dare to say that's uh, pretty good. It's a fairly large expansion that you're seeing from the round and the uh, the permanent cavity that it's creating. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, let's give it another shot to the uh, to the upper body. I'm really I'm I'm I want to see it go through more lung tissue. We're gonna be do doing a shot center of the chest, going through the sternum and the heart, hopefully. All right, let's check it out. Nice, not center. However, straight through the rib. And yeah, I actually made it all the way through and shot out through the spine. You can see we had pieces that exited and it looks like it also broke apart as it went through the spine. That's um, surprising performance. Not a huge exit wound, but it's certainly getting the job done. It's not as like amazing to see, but it's pretty good for a pistol round, especially given the recoil and the weight of the round, especially the fact that the magazine holds 20, which is a lot. You're completely stoic. What do, you, what do you have to say? You're not saying anything. Me? Yeah. Well, it's, it's doing good. Okay. <laughs> say something like that. <laughs> We're gonna get some close-ups now. We're gonna be doing the 5.7 in direct comparison to the 9mm, and I'm very interested to see. We'll be using a sphere gold dot for both 9mm and the 5.7. Next up, we have 9mm Sphere Gold Dot. Actually, Charlie's personal camera, you get ammo. Right? Yeah. Yep, Gold Spear. Okay, here's the flowering on the 9mm. Here's the flowering on the 5.7. More, more flowering on the 5.7, however, the 9mm just looks more violent in, in like the application and the way it traveled through the body. Did it exit? Nope. Okay, here's a 9mm slug. Here is the 5.7 slug, so similar penetration. Um, I find that pretty fascinating and interesting. I feel like this is a... Uh, I like feel like pistol rounds just suck ballistically. Pistol performance is already kind of suspect overall ballistically. I don't know how many videos. Have you seen Micah of somebody being shot by cops by 9 mil and just taking they just keep walking round yeah. after round of sphere gold dot to the chest? Pistols aren't great, so I would say between the 5.7 and the 9 mil, I would say the 9 mil seems to be exhibiting more energetics as far as the things that's breaking through i will say the flowering is larger on the 5.7 however it, it it seems that the permanent cavity of what's left there is definitely more with the 9 mil which gives me a little bit more i feel better about the, the 9 mil like we're doing gut shots and uh, let's see how it does that was like the smallest flowering i've ever seen look at that that was like nothing. Wait, that was literally, Tiny. you can barely even see it on the camera. It's just now starting to bleed. That was super underwhelming. That's one of those things where you get shot and you just kind of like bitch and moan for like Okay, let's hours. try one round of 9 mil because I, I feel like this will kind of prove a point. Next up, we have an MHP uh, to the gut. Ready? Yep. That was even smaller. <laughs> Never mind. What the hell? Wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It traveled further because you can see the blood kind of coming out back there that we didn't have with the 5.7. But this is like the most underwhelming performance we have ever seen on a gut shot. This that is, is wild. Do we have any G9 strong. or something? Yeah, we got G9. Let's try G9. Holy shit. Uh, we have another uh, 9 mil. This is a G9. We're hoping to see something, dude. Like, just holy shit. All right, on you. Yep. Oh yeah. Thank uh, God for G9. G9 is just the most violent round known to mankind. Oh yeah. Dude, dude. look at that. Oh my God, dude, look, look at the that. back. <laughs> yeah. Why is G9 just, G9's a goat. G9 it will is. get you those up close parking spaces, dude. Look at that spine, <laughs> dude. Counter terrorists win. This is, uh, Slowly proving to be the most underwhelming round we've ever used. Let's try like a temple shot. Headshot. <laughs> Just pistol rounds, dude. Just so underwhelming. That was, I don't know, what do you think, Charlie? Honestly, I, like, 
This looks like one of those shots you'd survive and then like 10 years later become a politician or some shit. I just want to make sure the head's wait, just wait. like, yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure he's dead. You got to put people out of the misery, you know? You're good. Cool. All right. Let's talk about the 5 7. Okay, uh, final thoughts. Charlie, 5 7. Well. It's underwhelming. There's, uh, honest, I think, I think I would rather get shot with that. Out of all, out of anything. You take 5.7? Yeah, I think I could get shot with yeah, 5.7 and it, still charge. If you had to get shot with 9 mil or 5.7, what would you get shot with? 5.7, dude, it does, it's so, it gets boring. Yeah, scenario, it's 1.30 at night, coming back from the range. You pull me over because I'm speeding, you're carrying a 5.7, you're going down. I don't care how many times you hit me. What was that one, uh, remember the advertisement for the guy like coming out with his FN 5.7 and he's like, kids go run and hide. I've got this overpriced 22 Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean the 5.7, I will say, right? Lower recoil, um, you know, higher speed on the, on the projectile. It's effective. Um, I don't know if it's as effective as nine mil. In fact, I would be pretty inclined to say based on what we saw on the high speed and what we've seen on the ballistic dummy and gel in the past that uh, nine millimeter seems to get better penetration and overall probably better performance in tissue. I guess final thoughts, am I gonna carry or or use a 5.7? Probably not, no, I'll, I'll be sick with nine mil. Charlie? Uh, you said you'd carry a 5.7, so we're gonna hold you to that. Okay, and Micah, would you carry a 5.7? Um, just because I think it'd make cool headlines to get someone put down with a 5.7. That would be pretty cool. They, well, you're not wrong, because look how many headlines came out of Mexico. He's got a point. Uh, I don't think it's a magic round. Point is, it's effective. Uh, it, it's not this crazy, insane round. The armor penetration capabilities mostly come from the P90 with longer barrel length and with projectiles that are specifically made to be armor piercing, which are actually very hard to get nowadays. So it's kind of a wash in my point, in, in my opinion. Will those armor piercing go through level four? No. No? So pretty much you have to, you have to be in Mexico, stumble upon a cop, and also have armor piercing to be able to take that cop down in Mexico. I don't, Who's, I, who goes to Mexico? I don't know what he's talking about right now. Point is, guys, probably carry 9 mil. Get training, though. If you're, if you're trained with this, you're going to be very effective. So get out there, train, be good with whatever you carry. I feel like you shit on the 5.7 really hard. It works. It'll kill someone. It will kill. It will kill, right? Uh, it'll kill. Is it'll that kill, yeah. Fire? <laughs> Go train. We appreciate you guys. We got way more great things coming. Uh, better than the 5.7, that's for sure. And uh, stay tuned. Final thing for you guys, dad advice. Since Charlie's back. Oh, hey. Yeah, uh, dad advice. All right, so this You're is actually something. a father. Uh, yes, I am. Of uh, uh, so many. Just out there. But anyways, dad advice. So check this out. You know, you live in a shitty state with all these bad laws and everything like that. And here's something that, that helped me out. Just get a job working for Mike and move. Don't, no, that's, God damn it, 